have what I wanted. No! No, I've shut the door! No! I have locked myself into my bedroom and no one's in the house! Mum? Mum? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, then I make bookish and Harry Potter videos and just generally am a big fangirl mess. Stick around. <laughs> so today I'm going to be doing a book haul and it has been a hot minute since I've done a book haul. I've been actually pretty good and proud of myself for the restraint I have shown. I went, didn't go on a book buying ban necessarily but I went on a do you really want that book? If the answer is no, do you need it right now? Book buying situation. And it worked! I've been quite good and I've bought not as many books as I would usually get in a month after my last book haul which was the Harry Potter extravaganza where like half of the haul was just Harry Potter books I've restrained myself not a single book in this is a Harry Potter so, uh, I say there's not a single book, there is a Harry Potter book in this haul I'll start with that one shall I? so I got the paperback version of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J.K. Rowling, John Tiffany and Jack Thorne and I love Cursed Child, I am one of the people that actually genuinely really liked it when I first read the script I was a little bit confused and a little bit like I don't I, why this doesn't work and then you see it and I honestly do not think you can like properly judge this story until you've seen the story play out which I know isn't fair because it's hard it's only in England at the moment and then it's going to New York but even though it's even then it's only in two places it's hard if you can't see it like I get that but it's definitely made to be seen not to be read. There's so much more to it when you see it. So this is the paperback version of the script. It's the definitive like finished edition. It's not the rehearsal script anymore. That's how it was advertised. It was advertised as having additional content being the finished version, you know, all this stuff. That's not true. <laughs> this book is not finished. So the rehearsal edition which came out last year has stuff in it which doesn't which isn't finished they, they changed it as the play goes on because there's a new cast they were learning new things there was the uh, previous season and then it went into normal cast and then you know they kind of got more into their characters the original cast and now there's a second cast so there's stuff that's even you know that's different now this isn't actually finished there are things in this which are not correct for example this isn't spoilery Scorpius at one point says he has an imaginary friend that that friend in the play is called Hector in the original book it's called Flurry. It's still called Flurry in this and there's a couple of directions in this which are not actually what happens, there's a couple of lines which are changed, there are lines that are in this that have been taken out of the play and it's not the finished edition so I was a little bit disappointed because I essentially just paid for a paperback version of what I've already got and not a finished version of the play. Also they said they were going to have new information, they don't. It feels like there's going to be a timeline with like information about what happened so all that's in this timeline is just stuff we know and then it just says 19 years later with, with no information <laughs> everyone that was talking about this book wanted to know what happened in the 19 years later like Cursed Child is set 19 years after Deathly Hallows just after the epilogue but we want to know what happened in those 19 years like the kids birthdays and being born and weddings and stuff and then also it has a family tree which is very vague and just says like many generations later or two generations later um, so I've actually added to the family tree uh, more information than you know I wanted so I just added it myself so yeah so I like this version like it's it's raised and I like this gold and like it's pretty and small and next time I see the show but it's signed with the new cast because obviously it's the new book and then I've had my old one signed by the old cast so I do like it and it's small and compact and not as big and bulky but I was just kind of a little bit disappointed I was I wanted the information that I was promised and not what we actually got. You get me? <laughs> editing me. Hi, I just want to add one little thing because I'm editing and realizing I'm hating on this book and I do enjoy it. <laughs> there is actually this thing at the front which is a little like conversation between Jackson and John Tiffany and that I liked. That was quite good. That's not in the old copy and that was pretty cool. Anyway, uh, for those who don't know, Cursed Child is, yeah, it's uh, set 19 years later. It is the story of Harry's second son and a middle child, Albus Severus Potter. He starts Hogwarts and it's kind of who he befriends and what what happens there. Then I got More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera which is a book that I'd already read but I'd read it on my Kindle and I wanted a physical copy. I got this from the Waterstones Marketplace for like 10p. The Waterstones Marketplace is literally my favourite place. So this is about 16 year old Aaron who is struggling to refind happiness after a family tragedy and then he meets his new friend Thomas and kind of it helps him 
open up a bit more and they get really close and it helps them feel better and find their happiness and kind of explore different things. It is a LGBTQ plus novel and I really really love it. I really wanted a physical copy for a while and then I went to London and saw some friends and we were talking about it and I just decided you know what I'm gonna order it so I would definitely recommend it. Then I got George by Alex Gino which is a book that I have wanted for ages. I wanted my local Waterston to get it in the whole time I worked there. Stopped working there when I could have gotten it discounted and look what they get in! I'm joking. So I was waiting for it to come in, come in. I don't know why I just didn't order it offline but like I, I wanted it from the shop and I kind of committed to the wait. I'd heard nothing but good things about it. I have since read it and I absolutely loved it. A girl uh, is about George who was born a boy but was actually born in the wrong body and is actually a girl and George wants to play Charlotte in the school's production of Charlotte's Web and gets told so she's a boy and she can't she can't play Charlotte. So it's kind of everything there like gender stereotypes, what people say is normal, what people kind of consider as a thing, kind of exploring yourself and gender identity and coming out and that kind of thing and it's really good. I really 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 enjoyed it. This is actually considered a middle grade novel. I made a whole video about my favourite middle grade novels so I will link that down below. But yeah it's absolutely fantastic. I can't recommend it enough. Then I got Alex as well by Alicia Brugman which is again another book about exploring gender identity and who you are and coming out and stereotypes and how people can treat others because they're different but like what even is different anyway what even is normal you know and this is another book exploring that I haven't finished this book yet but I have read a couple of chapters and I am enjoying it so far and I think that it does touch upon some very important themes and issues so it is another one that I'd recommend but I have only read a couple of chapters so it may become rubbish who knows but yeah I'm really liking it so far and I'm glad that I picked it up when I saw it and I got The Inexplicable Logic of My Life by Benjamin O'Leary Sines which in my last book haul I actually spoke about having this book on audiobook and I wanted the physical copy on the day where I went to London we went into foils and they had it and it was beautiful look at it look I love it so much it's about a boy called Cell who was being raised by his adoptive single gay father and he kind of thinks everything's all sorted, he knows what he's doing, he, he kind of has got kind of ideas of what he thinks about things and then suddenly those things start to change and he's not quite sure who he is anymore and what's happening and it's kind of exploring friendships and that's what I really liked how kind of friendship heavy this book was and family and lots of different things and I read this while I was on holiday and I really 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 enjoyed it. I love Benjamin O'Leary's science, I love the way that he writes. This was actually though the first book of his because um, he wrote Aristotle and Dante, Discover the Secrets of the Universe, which is my favourite standalone book. But this is the first time I'd read one of his books and actually struggled a little bit to get into the style of writing that he has, which is not usually the case with his books, but I did this time, I don't know why, I don't know if it's because I've just been rereading Ari and Dante a lot and then was suddenly reading something with different characters, but it took me a while, but when I got into it, I properly did get into it and I did then really enjoy the story. Then I got We Were Ants by Sean David Hutchison. This is a book recommended to me by a friend of mine. It is about a boy called Henry Denton and he's kind of struggling with family issues and his boyfriend committed suicide last year. He gets abducted by aliens and they tell him that he has the power to stop the end of the world you know and I was a bit skeptical about that part because I was like how are they gonna fit this in kind of thing but I, I read it I really 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 enjoyed it I thought it was really really good I like the kind of how they did everything the different touches and different themes that were explored and stuff and how they kind of mixed together all these different things and I, I really 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 liked it I'm glad it was recommended to me and I enjoyed it so this is another one that I got recently then I got Wild Like Me by Louise Pentland on my Kindle it is Louise's debut novel and it is a book about a single mum called Robin Wild and her raising her daughter and kind of feeling like she doesn't fit in with the other parents at the school and that kind of thing I am a couple of chapters into it and I am enjoying it and I will finish it but there are other books that I do want to finish and read first and I'm not in a rush to go back to it but I am planning on finishing it I'm probably going to do a review of it once I've finished and talk more about my feelings about it and yeah I am enjoying it but there are just other books that I know that I want to get through first before I finish it then finally I got two audiobooks I got an audible subscription uh, which I'm still kind of seeing if it's worth it because I've got two books since um, and I've had the subscription two months but that's all I've got like I haven't bought any I've just got the ones I get as the free credit so I may cancel it I'm just I'm seeing how it goes so the first audiobook I got is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein and this book is about a teenager called Wade Watts 
he spends all of his time kind of playing video games and logged onto this game called Oasis and he there's all these like clues for stuff and no one's kind of found the one and then he works out where the first clue is and he actually goes and gets it gets the first key and he ends up on this scoreboard kind of attracts everyone's attention because he's now on the scoreboard and that's kind of everything from there and there's a lot more to it I think from what I've read about it everyone's been telling me to read this book for so long I've never gotten around to doing it you know, I saw the audiobook on there and I thought I'm gonna listen to it I'm gonna get it finally gonna read it I'm looking forward to it I've been told I'm gonna enjoy it and I think that I will I know there's gonna be so much more to it than what I've read so I am excited to delve into it and see what I think and then finally I got another audiobook which was the audiobook for The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee and this is a book I've heard loads of things about and was told loads of things about and then my friend read it and she was like it's really good you need to read it so I decided to get the audiobook because I've been listening to quite a lot of them recently because they help when my eyes are really hurting and really tired I can just listen which is really good really handy this is about a young bisexual British lord who embarks on this trip around Europe with his secret crush and friend and it's kind of you know not really the proper thing that a lord should do but he's not really that bothered but I am very excited to read that one I think it's gonna be really good I've heard loads of good things about it from people whose bookish judgment I trust and agree with so I'm very much looking forward to listening to it I think it's gonna be the next audiobook that I do listen to because I am very much looking forward to reading it so yes so those are just some of the books that I have gotten hold of recently there's only one Harry Potter book in this haul can you believe it? So yes, I'd love to know which books you have gotten recently, so let me know down below any of these. Have you read any of these? Are they good? What other books have you got recently? Let's discuss down below. If you are new here, I make videos a couple of times a week, so if you'd like to stick around and join us, then you can do that. And as usual, all my links will be in the description below if you'd like to come hang out on the other social medias. Run on the Road is my username on everything, and my website is runontheroad.com, so come say hi. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're doing really, 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 really well, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.